that person is running that stuff needs help. And I hope that if there's some sort of private investigator, an attorney, and a lawyer, or something, maybe one of my fans is one of these four things, maybe they'll help. Who knows? We'll see after I post this video. Uh, damn, I missed it. All the board, fish, fish. Yep. They need help. Okay. We can go back to questions. I like fun questions. I'm moving on from that. that. Uh, that discuss that topic of discussion is lame and it sucks. Don't really need to give it too much energy. You guys know who I am. Four accounts have the same IP address. There you go. Well, at least somebody's doing. Thank you. Thank you for your help. And I've been seeing you, sweetheart. Cheryl G eight one two. You're pretty much one of the only people I've been seeing doing something about it like that in my DMs and trying to narrow down where these accounts are. Uh. I don't want to talk about this shit anymore. Do, you, do I like Texas girls? I love Texas girls. Why wouldn't I like Texas girls? I got like two ex-girlfriends from Texas. Ooh. Um, reported. Holly. Source. Thank you. I hope you actually did that. Um, what is your favorite daily wear attire? Uh, any weird habits or rituals? Ooh. Any weird... <laughs> let's start with that one. Uh... I like that one. Any weird habits or rituals? Um, weird habits. Uh, right now, the weird habit I have is... Um, probably, I, I don't... I have to think about that. Wow. Probably opening up, like, multiple... Uh, Multiple bags of chips or something? I don't know. It's a, I don't know. I guess I'm not ready to answer that question. Favorite cartoon series? Uh, South Park. I don't really watch TV. Um, sleep schedule, laugh out loud. None of your business. Mind your business, girl. The fuck do you think this is? Sleep schedule. Get the fuck out of here. I'm going to let you chill, though. Uh, have you been to Hog's Breath in Key West? Yes, I have. I'm from the Keys. Duh. Uh, jeans or sweatpants? Sweatpants, for sure. Uh, baby M198888869. You got a lot of numbers in your account, homegirl. I mean, you're cool, but like, oof. First rule of Fight Club. Don't talk about Fight Club. Agreed. What was your favorite Halloween costume you were as a kid? Uh, Jason. <laughs> I would always dress up in a pair of overalls, put some uh, straw in my fucking shit, and uh, a little bit, of, a little bit of, like fake blood and like fake machete or something, or an actual real chainsaw. Vroom vroom, uh, come fucks with me. I'll fucking, I got a fucking chainsaw. Um, anyway, next question. The people are weirdly obsessed with Aaron's sleep schedule. Why? Question mark. Sounds like behind the aurora, or, or, or behind the aura. Why do, I, why do I keep fucking up your name? Behind the aura is a really sweet fan, by the way, of mine. I love this girl. Yeah, people are really obsessed with my sleep schedule. It's weird. It's strange. It's like, hold up. Are you obsessed because you want to accuse me of doing drugs again? Of course. Dude. Of course. It's so so easy. Uh, maybe he is an insomniac. Hmm. Yup. Someone got it right. I am an insomniac, and I'm prescribed trazodone, and I don't take it for sleep. But, hey. What does it matter? There's something beautiful going on in the nighttime that I can't reveal right now. But I will say D-O-C. Um, U-M-E-N-T-A-R-Y. Uh, spell it out. Some of us are night owls. Don't hate uh, what you don't understand. Yeah. Agreed. I wonder why I have beats named Black Owl. What is your favorite memory? It's a good one. Deep, but good. 
documentary. Correct, Demi. Uh, what's your favorite memory with your sister? My sister passed away in 2012 and was just wondering. Uh, my favorite memory with... I would say... When Leslie went chasing after a roadrunner. When we went to buy our first house. Well, not our first house. Second or third. I don't remember. Uh, we were like... 12, 13, it was in San Inez, and we were looking at a like 9,000, 10,000 square foot house, one story, beautiful, on top of a hill, 150 acres in the beautiful valleys of San Inez, and sorry, I got a question, uh, uh, I'll get to you in a second, Cassie, uh, Anyway, back to the story. I'll, I'll, I'll get to the pin comment. Um, we were up there, beautiful San Inez, uh, memory with Leslie. That's what her question was. If you're just popping in out of nowhere, you're leaving. Uh, so, yeah, she went chasing after like a, a roadrunner and this bird and like caught it and like, wanted to put it in, in like the house. <laughs> it's funny. Uh, how do you deal with too much overthinking? Cassie, mm, I... I'm, I'm, I don't think I overthink. I think I think through my thoughts pretty well. I think a lot of people just think I overthink. So, but I'm just a lot more, I'm, I'm a lot more complicated than you think I am. And I'm able to stop, think, not overthink, wait, and get my point across. That's what a real smart person does when they're thinking. They don't overthink. They don't overanalyze. They just do. Someone says, "Do you call me?" No, I don't. I don't call you. Um, love your lives. Thank you. Hey, you know what? At least I got like one one person in here that likes my lives. That's cool. Even though it's a black screen. I wonder why, but people just want to just overanalyze, don't they? It's funny. Do you still ride? Have you rode in Canada yet? I do ride. Yes, I ride almost every day. You might not be here enough. I'm just going to say that. My, my Instagram lives are a full-time job, um, especially right now with what I have going on. Uh, now you, let's see, now your trolls are going to be creating fake accounts. Yeah, that, of course, you'll get, you guys will see them back in here. We, and Coonan, the uh, pro skater, I'm seeing them all, they, they're all here. They're all here, guys. They're disgusting, they're foul. And I eat them for dinner. Mm, yum, yum, and breakfast. Mm. So, uh, what would you recommend for people saying? You're crazy. Uh, people are calling me crazy lately. I can't handle it. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, that took a turn I didn't expect. Uh, so what would I do? Recommend for people saying you're crazy. People are calling me crazy lately. I can't handle it. Um, I would just say just do you. Fuck it. You know? Who cares? What are you going to do? Lock you in a mental institution? Fuck. Mm -hmm. Okay. Get the fuck out of here. Right? That's how I feel. They don't scare me. That shit don't scare me. Um, aren't you sick of the drama? It's exhausting. Well, well I'm mm, mm, not answering that. How do I overcome nerves? Uh, I just, I just feel, you know. I just feel, I'm not afraid to feel. I'm not afraid to feel. And that's been one of the most empowering things I've had with my sobriety over the last two years. And I've, I've obviously had my ups and downs, but I'm in one of the best places I've ever been mentally in my life. Even though I have this stuff going on and being projected out there, that's just what happens when you get more famous. Or when, when it, that's why I always say, this industry is a roller coaster ride, guys. It's like up and down, up and down. I've been doing it for 23 years. There's probably a lot of people in here that aren't even that old that are in here. 
Uh, I've been doing it professionally now for 23 years. And it goes up and down and up and down. And the best thing for me to do is just understand that when I'm going back up again, that nobody can knock me off of that. And the problem that you guys have seen, it's like, I'm, I'll go up, 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 and then boom, boom, someone comes down and knocks me down, right? Boom, 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 uh, boom, I come down and I knock myself down, right? Boom. But the most important thing is that I am not afraid to feel. That's how I overcome those nerves. Next question. Do you have panic attacks? I have panic attacks a lot. How do you deal with them? Uh, I don't have panic attacks anymore. Uh, I think it was all something that might have been in my head, to be honest with you. I started getting control over things and certain patterns and certain things shifted for me. And I started figuring out that there's so much more to life and that this isn't it. You know, that, that, that this, this isn't it. This black screen is not it. Um, what is important to life in life to me is the uh the air that i breathe like i said the 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 nature that i get to uh explore the ability to travel do what i love do what loves me um but yeah there's just uh, i panic attacks are just not a thing really anymore for me they say if you have anxiety or panic attacks not to drink coffee or caffeine well, I, they say, right? Um, um, I don't know, Frex. I've seen some of your comments here before. The other one was like needs or something. Uh, I don't know. I'm not answering you. I remember you. Uh, any throat throat care routine, like for your voice, honey, oil, etc.? Uh, let's see. No, to be honest, the best thing for your voice is sleep. So that's the most important thing. Sleep or <laughs> ibuprofen. If it's really swelled. But I learned these things when I started becoming classically trained in Broadway. And I had to start going to an ENT, which is an ear, nose, and throat specialist. And I had to learn and shift and train my, my, my voice in a different way. Because the first like six months I was there, a lot of the cast that I was with, they're like, mm, we don't know how to feel about like, you know, Aaron. Because he sings like pop. You know, and and the rest of my cast sang classically, and then I, my music director Robert Felstein uh, was like, "Hey, you you know, you need to quit smoking cigarettes, and you need to because your veins are popping out of your forehead and in your face when you're singing, and we're gonna fire, we're gonna fire you." And I was like, "Oh shit, like this sucks." And he's like, "And and you sound like a pop singer. We don't want that on our stage." I was like, "Oh fuck!" Like so. He started training me. Robert started training me in a, in a completely different way, classically, classically singing. And uh, eventually I got it. And But once I did start to get it, I had to quit smoking cigarettes and all this stuff. And after you quit smoking cigarettes, when you're, if you're a singer, you'll notice that it's some people, it, it's, you lose your voice for a couple months. Okay, That's why I'll narrow it down. I lose, I, I've quit before and I'm afraid to quit smoking right now again because of that reason, which is dumb, but... Because now's the time to do it. Because I'm not starting up any shows until December. Um, but the ear, nose, and, and throat specialist started telling me that the most important things for for me were sleep, and and water, and healthy lifestyle, healthy living, not milk, not none of these other myths and things that people think. You can have as much milk and chips and oil and greasy food as you want. It doesn't really affect the voice. What affects the voice is sleep and regimen. So, because it's a muscle. It's no different than working out. You just can't keep working out if you're staying up all the fucking time, you know? Gotta sleep. Which I do, by the way. I mean, y'all probably wondering, oh, well, he doesn't sleep. Well, guess what? I fucking do. All right? Get out of my ass. What kind of mattresses do I have? <laughs> I have a, I have a Tempur-Pedic in one room. I have uh, this other crazy Alaskan one in my master bedroom. I don't know. Hey, don't forget to check your PO box today. I hope you still have that one. Of course I do. Uh, it's it's just in in Los Angeles, and I don't live there. 
So, anymore. <laughs> He's not going to sleep on live with us. People are literally insane. They act like they live with you. I might. I actually might do that though, just so you guys can. Sh- people can shut up. Be like, you know what? All right, today's lesson is the ceiling. <laughs> Hello. Do I notice you? Yes, I do. You're still on this black screen. <laughs> Sometimes. Have you ever been? I love making people eat their words. It's really fun. I, I get I get a fucking kick out of it. So the the more idiots that want to comment, the the more fun I have being a genius, being able to fucking slay them into the ground. Go. Sleep with a fan or without. With. Or, yeah, with or without. I don't really give a shit, to be honest. When I'm tired, I sleep. But I have a very high-functioning brain, I guess you could say. Am I going to start watching hockey? No. Why are there two A's in your name? I, I, I don't know. I don't Ask Jesus... God, maybe? It's in the Bible. It's Moses' Moses' brother. Um, what's your favorite childhood memory? Ooh, I don't know. That's a weird one. Let him eat and sleep when he wants. I agree. Um, I love Tim Hortons. Went a lot when I lived in Michigan. Best coffee. I know. I just had I just had a ice cap. Ask Jesus. <laughs> oh my God, what a stupid question. <laughs> it was a funny one though. Because he is A.A. Ron. Did someone just ask you why you spell your name correctly? <laughs> I know, it was stupid, but sometimes answering stupid questions are fun. Come on, you can't keep it... Uh, you got, gotta lighten up a little bit, you know? Uh, if we're all gonna look at a black screen here, you know? Just, just listen... I'm just going to sit here talking to myself, right? Um, I'm not. It's called like a little chat room, but I'm just the voice of it. Go to coffee order. What? What? What, Lens? Can try again. Go. Oh, go to coffee order. Okay. No, I guess I need to try again. Fuck. See, that's what happens. You know, one of the great, funniest things is people can misconstrued words so easily on a you can get it twisting and be like go to go, go to coffee order what go to coffee order I, I don't drink coffee simple answer i like the black screen we can see the comments better boom wow someone's smart in here don't don't reveal all my stuff she goes laugh out loud yes i love you it's okay sorry <laughs> stupid um why don't you have a cool chick i don't know it's a good question I don't know. I guess it just... Yeah, I don't know. It sucks. One day, right? In one day. Don't give up, Aaron. Uh, come to Ar- Darn Love. Come to Argentina to eat the best ice cream. Mmm, that sounds good. You just made me want ice cream right now. No, he doesn't have a son. Uh, yeah, well, it, it, they probably heard me talk about that. But if someone if someone asks the right question, maybe you'll get the tea. Boom, sip, sip. I actually have like the best tea in the whole world. <laughs> and I have lots of it. Supply and demand over here, motherfucker. Um... <laughs> He will go to sleep when he's tired. Facts. I already went to sleep. I fucking slept. I had to be up this morning. Thank you, everybody, very much with my trainer. So. Spill that tea, motherfucker. Duh. Don made her first, her first two cameos today. 
Don, how are your cameos today? <laughs> Do you like Phil Collins? Uh, I can feel it coming in the air tonight. Such a good song to respond back to that, right? Uh, yeah, I I do like Phil Collins. Oh Lord, oh Lord. Uh, who is my celebrity crush? I don't have one of those. I don't really crush on anyone. So I know I had a song called "I Got a Crush on You" when I was little. But that mentality stopped a long time ago. I'm when it comes to love now, I got, I'm really shy. I'm fucking, oh, it sucks. Like I used to have all this game and shit, and be like, "Yeah, what's up, girl? What's up, yo? I'm in with Carter. I'm in with Carter. I know I sound like I got a New York City accent. I'm not from New York City, but I'm in with Carter. You want to have dinner, baby? No, I don't do that. I can't do that shit anymore. I'm just like. I mean the cute girl, I'll be like, oh shit, what's up? Oh no, close my eyes, you're cute, but I don't know what to say. <laughs> Someone said, oh, that surprises me. Why is that surprising you? Uh, maybe it surprises you because you think I would still be like, yo, what's up, I'm in quarter. I got the game, girl. You want Kobe steak, you know? But I can't do it. I can't do it anymore. I don't know. I guess I'm just, I, I'm 32 years old. I've been through a lot of relationships. They all haven't fucking worked. Something, I'm not doing something right. Like my therapist says, I have a bad picker. <laughs> Tells me all the time, you got a bad picker, man. I'm like, yeah, I know. Would I ever date somebody who isn't a celebrity? Uh, that's who I've dated for the most part, I guess. Yeah, so. Have you ever tried dating a guy? That's a question I'm sure a lot of people want me to answer. No, I have not. There's your answer. Date me, damn. I know who uh, Shade e Shade H is. She she did an Instagram story the other day, and then she then she sent me another message in DM. She said, "Why did you Why did you delete that? Didn't you, Shade? I pay attention to everybody. Um, dating is impossible these days. No, it's not. Don't take impossible out of your vocabulary." Right now, for me, I I just don't even I I don't really have much time for uh, a, a a girlfriend or a relationship right now. It wouldn't even be fair to the girl, you know. It wouldn't even. That's why I can't even. People are like, "Oh, you got the where's the dogs and all this dogs and all the dogs," and I'm like, "Well, guys, calm down. Like, I can't take care of dogs. I would love to have dogs, but I can't have them because of what I do." Because I tour so much. I would love to have doggy little puppies everywhere. And I've tried so many times. And every single time it's like, oh, I can't take care of this dog. Or, or there's been certain situations where I've ended up at rehab. and or, or I haven't made the right decisions, you know, sound. And I'm not perfect, you know. Sorry, Shade, shade H just just said something to me she said she'll take a one night stand no shade age <laughs> don't do come on girl respect yourself i mean if we kick it and we go down the first night and we have, something happens that's cool but what if i don't want to when i i don't want no one night stand shit i'm trying to keep my dick clean girl um how do you have how long do you have clean? I'll have eight months on the YT. I don't know what YT means. You on the eight, maybe eighteenth, nineteenth, maybe she's meant to say something like that. How do I? How long do I have clean? Two years and going. Woo! Keep it up. Great things can happen. <laughs> I 
Olive Boop's back for more. We got another puppy cameo in here. All the dogs in my block want to date me, but my mom keeps me on lock. <laughs> so, I've always wanted to do voiceovers, and I'm, I'm, I'm. Trust me. After after I do these Instagram lives, I'm gonna have a lot of people be like, "Yo, can we do? We would love to have you for a voiceover." And I'm just like, "Yeah, fuck yeah, I know, I I know you do, and I'd love to do it for you." All the dogs on my block want to date me. But my mom keeps me on lock. But mom keeps me on lock. I love that. Olive Boops, you're cute. Any puppies are welcome in here. We love you. Uh, I love you on Marriage Boot Camp. I see you in a much better light. I'm so, so sorry. Everything you went through. You know what? Uh, I appreciate that. But I will say this. Uh, I don't. I don't really seek out pity or oh my god you know like feel sorry for me i really appreciate it but i'm more empowered by not having to seek validation from anyone whether i'm going through something hard or better now a lot of people need to start to wrap their heads around the fact that oh wow you know maybe aaron's got his life together now and maybe Maybe he did the impossible. Remember that word I said? Uh, take that out of the vocabulary to that girl. Maybe I did the impossible. Maybe, maybe, maybe that actually is happening right in front of your eyes and you just can't tell because you've been watching this puppy grow up every day. So and basically what I mean by that is it's like if you have a puppy and, you, and you're there and to watch it grow every day, you're not going to be able to really truly see its growth. But if, if you have that puppy... And then you go away for a while, maybe, or something. You come back, and then you see it grow. You're like, wow, it grew. So, (laughs) do a radio show. Uh, I I guess I am right now. It's just for 439 people that are listening, but that's okay. That's okay with me, because if, if something great, if something like that comes from this, that's cool. I didn't. But at least it was organic, you know? And I didn't have to shove it down somebody's fucking throat like everyone else wants to do. Make a podcast. I'm not really entirely ready for that. Maybe I'm waiting for the right situation to approach me. It's called... What's it called? (laughs) Uh, I don't know. It's just that thing that people write books and shit about. Whatever it is, it's like... Attracting the the, the law the uh, law of attraction or something like that. I don't fucking know. I don't read books, so I just live my life. And I'm very knowledgeable and very smart. And now I'm starting to give back to the world. And hopefully, people can just start to accept that. And if they gravitate towards that, fucking right, man. Because a lot of people don't feel like, especially who are in my position, that y- you know you can get people to gravitate towards positive stuff, right? Is it is it possible? Mm, I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Because I'm I'm watching the views, and it's like 424 people, and then it's 430, 31 right now. It switched to 428, and then it's and then 424, and then it's 430, and then it's 437. Do people want to stay? Do they want to listen? 435, mm, 436. I don't know. It's like 438. It's like up and down. See, what happens with that number, guys, a lot of you don't understand, is people are in and out and in and out and in and out and in and out, right? And if they're not getting what they want and they're trolls and they're haggard and they're, they want fuckery, they're just going to pop in for a second. So, And most of those people, most of my numbers, guys, the, the thousands and all that, it's negative people, right? But then when I start talking about positive shit, no one wants to pay attention. Ah, interesting, right? Well, we'll get to that point later. He really cares about us just like we care about him. Facts, Olivia. Facts. I don't need to shove it down anyone's throat. I prove it with my actions. You are very smart and very clever. I give you that. Thank you very much. You don't have to give it to me. I already took that. I took it. Uh, What do you look for when a song makes it to your album? Mm, I don't really want to have album conversation right now. Not interested in music right now. Right now, I'm interested in something else. And I've been trying to get people to understand that. And they will. Watch. They will. 
and everyone's going to be floored with my knowledge and my intellect. And I know it. So do uh sending puppy pics now. <laughs> it's cute. See, the funny thing about that fishing, because see, I told that fishing story. Uh, did any, anyone hear my fishing story? You are such a rare breed, smart, have, handsome, clever. Oh, thank you. Are you sure I'm handsome? I have, I have a tattoo on my face. No, I'm still good looking. Documentary time. Yeah. W would I write a book? I am writing a book with a guy named Andy right now, and, and we... We are 11 chapters deep. And now we're like, oh shit, we gotta add like nine more. Uh, I'm fishing now. Ooh, someone, someone understood this story. No, maybe not. Are you writing a book? Yes, 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 yes. Sorry you didn't get to, to ask that question first, but I will, I will answer. Yes, I, I've already been writing a book for a good six months now. But that book has changed and the narrative is 